All right, what's going on there, YouTube and the YouTube land? Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a forex trader here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. I say that so often, it's so funny. Okay, but that's what I'm doing here. Uh, we can look at Bitcoin today and see if we can tell uh, what's going on with the chart. So let's just jump right in. Don't forget, this is financial advice. I'm not here to give financial advice. Hey, some uh, some people have been asking me uh, how to join. Um, how to join uh, my uh, Telegram group. Uh, let me just say the uh, link is in the description. If you just go to uh, my channel, any of the uh, videos, um, any of the videos that are there, you can go right to the description. And in the description, you know, just right under under tip jars, you'll see a Patreon page. You just click on that Patreon link right there, and then uh, you, you can join Patreon there, and we'll send you a link to the Telegram group there. So that's the way you join, okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that's that. All right, let's jump into the uh, chart and see what's going on, okay? All right, uh, this wave is kind of challenging to count, but uh, it could be a finished five waves. Let me show you what I'm looking at. The other day, uh, you know, the trade setup that I shared did not play out like uh, like I hoped. Uh, that's okay. Not every trade idea works uh, like we expect. You know, what I expected to see as uh, as price was coming is we had this uh, three wave move up here. I I had this three wave move. That was beautiful. And then we had this nice little reversal, but it was a fake reversal. <laughs> and the market just continued on down. But I was expecting a three wave move up like that before we got this tank. Well, regardless, we we knew the we knew direction was going down. We knew the direction uh, and the price. I gave you targets at about. 9450 to 2 uh, to 9250 so we hit the 9450 target or so roughly about $15 away from that uh, but there you go so uh, that was looking that's looking really good all right so what are we what we in, uh, what we did get we did get a three wave move there uh, you know but but it turned into a be a flat right there. You see this flat right here, boom, right there. That's a running flat. Very very tricky in the market. Uh, messes a lot of traders up. Uh, you know, didn't mess us up because we were wait waiting for this. Uh, it didn't come, so we just we just happened to 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 miss uh, a little bit of that down move. Not a big deal. We don't hit every trade in the world. But then anyway, there's the structure that we got. We have broken out of this channel significantly, guys. We're probably uh, in the in the in the probably making you know a larger structure here that uh, that's going down okay so uh, just keep that in mind here this looks like a first five waves of that beginning so it looks like we're getting a one wave followed by a two now I can't be certain that this is finished but it's looking like it's at least a contender uh, that it's finished let me get the MAs off the screen here and just show you what I'm talking about here we've got a uh, one and a two right there. We got the one six one eight right down here on this wave. Um, let's see here. How do we want to count that? Um, hmm. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. All right. Sorry about that. Um, kids turning up the TV right in the one I'm making a uh, video. Uh, that's interesting. Um, they know better than that. <laughs> All right. So uh, what we've got here is uh, this is a possible. <laughs> it's really really hard to tell here. When, whenever you get into the end of wave three, into wave four, hard to, hard to tell what you're getting. Um, this could be. Not sure how to how to read it to be honest with you so uh, we'll just do the best we can here I we could we could count it like this mm, come on from the wick there to there one two okay. now this could be a three and a four and a five like that or we know we got the one two that's clear okay one two three four yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good contender for a possible end of a three um, with a four wave there, and so that wouldn't be an expanded flat at all. It just kind of resembles one or a running flat, uh, and then this would come down for our fifth wave. Uh, that's a contender, guys. Um, so let's look at this fifth wave, see if that's finished, if we've got five waves there or not. Yeah, it looks like we've got one, two, 
uh, three, four, five. I mean, it looks like it's about finished. Um, so this really good chance of this moving up to the upside here uh, for a B wave. Okay. Uh, if not, guys, we got one more hit to the one more wave to the low. We still have a target around ninety two hundred dollars. Okay. So remember that target there. Um, not there. $9,200 is right there. Uh, you can see how the 2618 right here is the 9294. Okay, uh, so uh, we still have a target down here. We still have plenty of structure down here uh, to come and tag. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we get another hit to the low. Uh, but I can't, you know, it's hard to tell right now. So it's, it's hard to say where we are in the count right here. This is very, very choppy and confusing. Until we get the fourth wave, guys, it's going to be it's going to be hard to know. But once we get that fourth wave in, guys, we'll be able to project the fifth wave. If if the fifth wave's not in, this could be the fifth wave. So let's talk about if it's the fifth wave, what would we expect? Well, we'd expect a 50% retrace at least, okay? So uh, what we do is we just take the retrace tool on that guy. Retrace, boom. Boom. Boom, expected to come up 50 to 61 percent, 50 to 61 percent, brings us back to right around $10,000 to 10120 Okay, so that would bring us back in a three-wave a three wave uh, motion from this level here, something like, something like that. Okay, and that would begin, that would be an A wave followed by a B wave, and then we would expect a C. Now, if that's the case, how do we project where that C is going to come? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's take a peek here. All we do is we just take our uh, trend-based fib extension tool. Let's see if we can. Again, we're just projecting ballparks right now, guys, because we don't have finished wave, uh, you know, finished structures. So this is just ballparks. We have a you know, good chance to come down here to about nine thousand dollars to eighty-six, uh, eighty-three in that ballpark. So right now, if we get an ABC off of this a structure that looks something like that, uh, then we. We should expect to move down here to about eighty-six, eighty-three, eighty-seven hundred dollars. Where does that line up with any kind of uh, structure here? Let's check it out and see. Two hours. There we go. You can see we got structure right here at uh, ninety-two. I already got that guy there, and then uh, we got structure right there, right all in this this region there. So that's the liquidity zone as well. Um, right there, and then of course we could come all the way down to eighty-three hundred dollars. Is um, you know we could come that deep, uh, right back down to this level right here. That would be uh, probably a, a good good landing zone there. So let me throw a, a yellow line there as well. So uh, there, that's kind of what we're looking at. So, but here's the deal: I can't really project that really well until I get this weight. I've got to have. I need to have this wave finished. Okay, I want to. I want to see this wave finished, and then I want to see this. Uh, once and then after after this wave is finished, once I get an A and a B wave going back to the upside, A and a B, I can project where the C is going to come, and then I can once I know where the C is going to come, I can project this larger C wave. But guys, remember this is just the beginning right here of a larger move to the downside. So realize that. Okay, so this is this is playing out uh, as a, as a larger move. Uh, not a uh, not a small correction that we're done with now. We're heading back up, guys. This is looking like it's coming down deep and then coming up and then coming back down. So this is our large correction, as far as I can tell, uh, the way that it's looking. Okay, um, Ethereum's kind of looking. Uh, looking about finished here with this wave right here. I'm not sure how to count Ethereum, but I like to count it here. One, two, this is what I've got, three. This is going to be a fourth wave, and then we're coming down for the fifth wave. So we might have this fifth wave coming, uh, coming on down. Um, let's check the extension here and make sure we're good. I'm pretty sure we are. Yeah, we're great on the extensions. Okay, so that's a nice count there. Um, I thought this was about a finished wave. I've finished five waves, to be honest with you. And then uh, this is a three-way pullback. And so, uh, again, looking for more downside for Ethereum, uh, right around 277 to 270. So right around here where we are, uh, we could be having a reversal right even right now. So look for that. And let's check Litecoin really quickly as well. Same kind of structure here, except Litecoin doesn't look to be finished. Um, so it, it may not be the same structure. This might be an ABC right here. This might be a... Oh, this might be a five, uh, five wave with a three pullback. 
uh, and then we're coming down even more than that. Uh, what I don't like about Litecoin is the extensions where it hit. You'll notice that this this wave came to the 127, and this came up and, uh, and, and, and overlapped this one wave. And so the only way I can, the way I have to interpret this guy is a little bit different. Um, and I really don't like it, but but it's looking very very bearish the way I'm I'm having to interpret it. Um, I'm having to interpret this one as a one two with another one two beyond it. So all this is the third wave, and we're just in the beginning of the third wave. Four, uh, you know, we're gonna get a four down here and five like that. My mouse is dying, guys. So. Uh, this would be one, two, three, four, five, like that. So, anyway, yeah, yeah. Litecoin's looking a lot bearish. The only other way to interpret that is that we got a three-wave move there. This is a little three-wave move, and then we're late, waiting on a three-wave move to finish, and that would be a WXY. But that structure, guys, is looking is is if that's telling the tale, we're going deep, guys. We're going real deep. So bearish is the direction, guys. Bearish is the direction. Sorry about the bad news here. What uh, what you might want to do, and what I've been doing, uh, is uh, you know using the moving averages on the one hour chart, guys. The moving averages on the one hour chart are really helpful. Okay, we got uh, we got a. Um, you, you you can see how let's see right let's see we got a sell signal you had plenty of sell signals right in here you're bouncing off the 20 you know to the downside so there's cells there we came here wicked through it came back as soon as it came back through it you got a sell signal again okay you had a bounce off of it yesterday or, or today and we got another sell signal okay now we're bouncing around it again if it comes back down and we get a second candle to the downside that'll be another sell signal for me as well so anyway the moving average is uh, the 20 that's the 20 period moving average it's been a really really good trend indicator so it just a trend continuation indicator um, so that's what I'm looking at guys all right that's about all I've got to share with you I know it's not the greatest in the world but uh, it gives you some idea of the structures that we're looking at my bias is down guys we still have some down move but we are waiting for an ABC correction to the upside but the biggest thing I don't know is 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 this thing finished um, my guts telling me no it's got it's got some more downside to go especially looking at litecoin uh shoot and looking at ethereum as well this is ready to it this is it, it looks like ethereum is, is ready to come back come back down big time as well with a nice big wave okay so if that's the case guys uh, be ready be ready for some carnage um because litecoin and ethereum are kind of pointing to the downside so bitcoin Bitcoin is too, so let's just be aware of that and on guard for that, okay? All right, you guys have a great night. Talk to you later. Hope that helped. Uh, leave the likes and leave the comments. Thanks so much for uh, stopping by the channel. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.